Um, I used to be on dating apps, and so I do disclose that information. And so I don't worry about dating apps because that's not okay. the real world. Okay. You said black men don't approach you. Right. He said that's uh, not the real world. I'm trying to go, I understand what What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ian Solo Thoughts. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Kevin Samuels, single mom wonders why men aren't approaching her. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to see what he's talking about in this one. And make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe for more reaction videos like this one. What's up, everybody? Back with another Kevin Samuels reaction, man. Y'all know what it is. I'm not going to say much. We just about to jump straight into this reaction. Let's go. Here we go. Hello. Hi, Kevin. Can you hear me? I can. Awesome. Um, oh, my God. It's so nice to talk. <laughs> Bro, she seemed hecka nice. She seemed chill. Let's see what's going on here. Um, I'm 27. Mm. Are there enough women for relationships today? Um, so I personally think so. Um, I come with a child. I had a child really young, but my girlfriends who are beautiful. <laughs> what hey, the heck? That. Is that me? Uh -uh. You said you came me? with a child. You come with a child. You had a I... child young. I had a child. I'm 25 and my son is 13. So I had a child really, really young. <laughs> um, you but see, my girlfriends who are you see I looked up. friendly, feminine, um, they're single also. Um, so yeah, absolutely. I just think there's the guys who are picking these women. Um, I just feel like they're not um, picking the right type of woman, right? No, hold, I'm on. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, they would throw an ad right there. Allow me to demonstrate. You, are you the right kind of woman? I'm not that type of woman. Let me tell you why. Because um, what well, in college I was. Um, but um, after college, um, I uh, went to therapy. And I am not the type of woman anymore. I am um, very, you know... I, I'm fun, fit, and friendly as well. Hold on, hold on. Are you, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Are oh. you wanting to be married? Oh, absolutely, yes. Okay, so you're putting yourself in the category today as the right kind of woman that these men should be picking from. Absolutely, yes. How tall are you? I'm 5'4". Dress high? I am a size 8, 6 or 8. How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? Uh, about 150, 145, 150. And are your friends... Your weight or more? Uh, they're less, most okay. of them, yeah. Uh, all right, and they're uh, all, all roughly your same age? Yes, yes, we're all the same age. And how many how many women are you talking about? Um, Probably about five women. So with you included? Yes. So five women included, and, and, and you're, all, you're all wife material The men just ain't choosing. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, I mean, I do oh, no, go Margaret. out, and Margaret. we do get you, you know it, guys man. that want to talk to us. But I guess for for me specifically, um, mm -hmm. guys don't. I don't know. I, I would say black guys, guys don't, don't try to. Black guys don't try to date me. Um, I haven't really dated a, a black man in a long time, which I really. What do you mean a black man don't try to date you? <laughs> I'm saying like when I'm out in public, I don't get um, approached, pursued by a black man. Um, often, okay. so where are you going? Kids. Hold on, um, hold on. I'm going to yeah. question this. That's crazy, man. Like, wait, wait, wait. Actually, we gotta keep, we gotta keep listening to, and for in order for me to make a, you know, uh, <laughs> what the? Fuck? In order for me to make a, a opinion or whatever, I'm going to question all of it. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Because yes. I, because <laughs> I'm not going to just let you just put the cause. All right. Who approaches you then? Like Indian guys, people like in my field, uh, really. Okay, are you going out with your friends? Um, not not a lot. Uh, my friends are like scattered all across the, the states. Okay, so... so when you go out, you're saying men don't approach you, black men don't approach you. Where are you? Where do you go? Exactly. Um, 
I mean, I do travel. I travel uh, uh, along sometimes, but when I'm in, I'm in Dallas. Um, but I'm in Dallas, and so I, I do mm -hmm. go out like to uptown area, downtown mm -hmm. area, and so. So, um, who, who your last boyfriend was what? Who? Was that what? What was that? Was that ethnicity? Uh, last guy I dated uh, was he was Indian. How long did it last? Uh, not long. <laughs> um, probably probably about three three months, I would say. Probably, what's the largest relationship you've had? Uh, probably college, honestly. Um, I don't really give How people a chance. Um, uh, probably a good year and a half. So how are you going to say that black men don't approach you, but then in the next breath you say you don't give people a chance? What, exactly. I, what I'm saying is um, the people that I do date, um, I don't want to be with um, a non-black man. So I don't really give them like the opportunity to like actually be with me. Like we so date. Think oh, so she wants she wants black men to pursue her. I thought she was just like she didn't really care for black men, but it seems like she knows what she wants and she's not getting it just yet in her life. Black men don't approach. Okay, let's take the I'll, let's, I'll accept the argument. Why don't black men approach you? Um, I think it's because I have a child. I don't know. That's no, what one that guy told me. This this guy that um that I was dating. Uh, I was in Austin, in Austin, and so this guy that I was um I was out, you know, just have, having you know fun with. Um, How do they know me, you have a child? Yeah, exactly. Um, because I mean, um, I your kid ain't attached to your hip. So how would they right. know you have a child? Right, um, because when we are talking and we're getting to know each other, uh, they have to I approach wanna... you exactly. See, dang, come on, as man, this was just getting good. Yes, yes. Um, so on my date, so I used to go, go yes. I got it. Um, I used to be on dating apps, and so I do disclose that information. And so I don't worry about dating apps because that's not okay. the real world. Okay. You said black men don't approach you. Right. He said that's uh, not the real world. I'm trying to go, understand where you go oh, shoot. and what's happening, and what you're telling me is what black men don't do. And I'm asking, where do you go? I still haven't got a sense of it. I just know you live in Dallas. Where <laughs> do mean, you go where black men don't approach you, and they can telepathically? recognize you have a child i mean i do go out like i said in uptown downtown area restaurants um bars um well, i'm gonna just i'm gonna such. be honest uh indian men aren't known to being uh step to it lotharios <laughs> so if okay. black men aren't approaching you and i asked you why you think they're not approaching you says because you have a kid they can't know that right um hey i bet y'all out there she was on live with Kevin Samuels. Heck of black dudes was hitting her line. <laughs> I guarantee. Uh, you're a child's father. Are, are, are you guys on decent terms? Uh, no. Uh, no. All right. When was the last time you had a relationship with a black man? In college. And how long did that last? That was a year and a half? Yeah, that was almost two and years. why did that end? Um, so it ended because he wanted me to stay in the city that we went to college in. And so I wanted to move back um, to where I am from and where my son was. So. He wanted you to move where? Or when? That doesn't make any sense. He just wanted you to move? No, he wanted, I mean, of course. So um, he graduated first. And so he, after I graduated, um, he wanted me to move in with him and me did. and my no okay so yeah. your son knew him no he didn't for a year and a half you dated mm -hmm. somebody i dated someone my son was actually in another city with his father and my and his family and my family so yeah <laughs> you sound pretty complicated man okay i'm just what i'm gathering i'm trying to understand i mean your son was gone somewhere. He wanted you to move. You didn't want to move. Okay. So instead, you decided to be a single woman with a child in Dallas. Yes. And how long ago did you graduate? Um, undergraduate 2016, December. So five years. Yes. 
And in the five years, but you tell it, black men don't approach you. They don't. <laughs> but the last black man you had, you ended your relationship with him. Yes. I lived in Dallas most of my adult career. Okay. Um, I don't witness this phenomenon. Are you? Do you go to church? I do. Uh, outside of kid, what is another reason you think black men don't approach you? So I recently talked to like one of my past um, guys mm -hmm. that I in college, and so mm -hmm. I asked him because we're still in contact, and so mm -hmm. I asked him, I was like, "Hey, why? You know, because we are still in contact, and because we know each other." I got it. I got it. Go I'm ahead. like, yeah. So why, why, you know, why wouldn't you like pursue me? And so he mm -hmm. just told me, you know, he <laughs> someone told me they see me on the on, with you. But anyway, nevertheless. Um, um, so, um, you know, I asked him like, hey, why wouldn't you like date me? And so he told me that, you know, back in college, I was, you know, I wasn't the nicest person. I'm going to say, ma'am, come on. Yeah, but that's why. <laughs> so, it up. That's why. So we're the nicest person, meaning yeah. you were what? Mean? Uh, yeah. Dang, come on. This, this video is getting good, man. What the heck? Because what you, what the bottom line is, what I'm gathering from it got to be more than that. Is though. People pick up on energy. Okay. And if you're saying black men don't approach you, what kind of energy are you giving to black men? Exactly. Right, and that's why. I mean, now, I mean, now I'm giving good, you know, be better energy uh, because I've been to therapy and. <laughs> he said time out. <laughs> Bro, Kevin Samuels a fool, man. Time out. Time out. Yes, sir. You're the very woman that said you believe that there are there are enough women for relationships today. Yes, absolutely. And listen, and you believe your friends are just like you. But right here we just shown that you have not been available for a relationship for a black man because you were giving off energy that needed therapy. And the in the that, past that, is that true or false? That is true. In the last how, okay. I would say how long have you been in therapy? Uh probably about two years. Okay. And are you still in it? Yeah, frequently. Um uh, I go. Yeah. Well the point I'm making is you're the fourth woman that's come on and said, Yeah, there are plenty of women. But if sixty five to seventy percent of the men said, uh uh. Okay. And you can say that somebody from college who knows you and has no dog in the fight can say, uh he was kind of a witch. I was. Do you not realize that, do you see my show? Do you see how some of the sisters talk about men? Many, many human beings, they can pick up on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, the message, is, the message has been what you and a lot of other women have been saying. Oh, there are plenty of us. Y'all ain't the problem. No. Every one of y'all I didn't talk to, something's been wrong with you. No offense, but you're not ready for the thing you say you want. Okay. Would you say any of the women that you see me speak to, have you watched the entire show? Yes, sir. Would you say any of the women that you see me speak to are really ready to be a Yeah, bro, she seemed like super respectful. I, I don't know. I feel like a guy would want to talk to her, but like she said, the dude said she wasn't giving off good energy where she was mean to people so i feel like hey just change that and watch the results come in you're gonna have better success life today no sir thank you so that's what the men are saying okay and it is and it is incumbent upon the women who want to be wives to be a wife he who findeth a wife Find it a good thing and obtain the favor with the Lord. The, the presupposition is your wife or you're found. A man just has to be looking for a wife. Okay. So this even video, no screaming, no yelling, no pejoratives, and even bears the same thing out. You guys are walking through the world thinking one thing and men are seeing something different. And the men are responding to the very women that think everything's okay on their side. Okay. Oh, the problem is on y'all side. Man. Okay. I mean, can you understand that's what the men are saying? 
Yes, sir. I, I totally understand. Um, okay. I totally understand. Uh, well, did you have something else you wanted to input? No, that was it. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. All right, right. So, guys, it doesn't have to be a, a yell fest, but ladies, at the end of the day, think about what I'm saying. The message has been, oh, we're all good. We're ready. All right. But the men are the ones that have to walk across, approach, and they have to pick up on, they're getting whatever the woman is today. Exactly. If you think that the men, the stats are wrong or whatever, then please, in the comment section, let us know, let the men know where, what city and state are all of these women who are ready for relationships? Because that number is only going to get more skewed. Hey, name of the game. If you want something to change, you have to take action. Like that woman said, she doesn't know why black men doesn't approach her. But you said, or your friend said in college that you were mean. You were a mean person. So how are you going to sit there and not realize that how you are is pushing the men that you want to attract away? You know, so name of the game. You got to change. Until next time, I'm gone. Peace.